Thank you very much, son. Hello, my friends. This is Yanis here. How are you? How was your week so far? I got a new haircut. And then uh, the whole week I had a chat with a music publisher uh, who approached me regarding my music release. And uh, so he gave me a compliments about that one. I'm really appreciative and uh, this is a really good sign. And uh, I sent already him uh, some of my demos. And uh, who knows, probably in the future those songs will be released through this uh, music publishing company or record label. And uh, that's, that's, that sounds good to me because, uh, as you know, I'm working as an independent music producer and uh, that's a very tough thing. Uh, I would say uh, much of the workload could be taken off my shoulders. And this, uh, this uh, probably is going to give me more time uh, around the songwriting process as well. Uh, but today I'm not going to talk only about the future. I'm uh, going to talk about uh, uh, lyrics and uh, what I want to share is uh, how I started to write them. And it was back when I still lived in Latvia. I was uh, about 16, 18 years old and uh, I played already guitar and of course I wanted to become a singer-songwriter and uh, what else I need for my music if no lyrics. My lyrics were kind of like a bit uh, dramatic. Uh, it was more about um, social theme, about uh, the whole world. And uh, as, as lyrics piled up, as, uh, as more as I understood that uh, I should uh, take them somewhere to somebody to, to read and to give me some feedback. And uh, I took them to the Latvian Writers Association. I brought them there, I submitted, and when I came back uh, to have a revision, uh, I've been told that lyrics are quite good and uh, they, they should be still uh, some change or uh, I, I have to write a bit more so until the book can be published. Uh, my aim was not about uh, publishing a book, my aim was about uh, self-confidence into to become a good songwriter. And uh, that gave me the further motivation for my music production. And when I uh, came to UK, to London, uh, in 2018, I uh, released already my first song with uh, English written uh, lyrics. Uh, and of course, I had to change my mindset because uh, I was thinking uh, in, uh, in Latvian. So I had to adapt uh, my uh, ideas uh, to the English version, uh, which I did. And uh, my song was released in, and it is called Call Me Insane and it, it was released the featured singer from South Africa, Amy, uh, whom I found on uh, some better website. That's where you can find uh, collaborations with an artist if you need, singers or uh, audio engineers. And we start work uh, around this song. Uh, that uh, that's took a while because uh, we were doing uh, from the distance. Uh, there were many vocal takes until uh, vocals start sitting on the, on the song. And uh, of course, uh, so many parts of the lyrics I cut off because the uh, uh, song uh, became more uh, danceable and uh, there were too many things which I really didn't need anymore. Um, you can hear the part which I cut off supposed to be for entry here. And uh, it, was, it was muted eventually. And uh, to get better understanding of uh, what is regard for the club music, I sent this song, me know, DJ who was uh, touring worldwide, uh, to have feedback about uh, what is good in this song and what's not, what is going to work or not. And here, the first thing what he said, uh, there is uh, too long chill. So I cut it off and the uh, song became, as you can hear it now, this uh, song Call Me Insane is released under uh, my uh, producer's uh, name, Pain Pepper Jam, you can hear on all digital platforms. and. Uh, if you like, you like, so I'm happy. If you have some feedback, you can drop on my in my comments. I will be happy to read them and to learn. Also, this might help me develop this uh, channel, uh, creating my sound. 
where I want to share everything uh, with you, what's happening around of my music. And uh, yeah, I can do, you can do as well, whatever you do. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Fingers crossed.